today we're going to be meeting Guario. Guario! Do it again, Henry. Guario! Yeah. You're free balling life. Free balling life is when you go really hard and you don't do anything to numb the pain. <laughs> Do you rave? Um, spiritually. <laughs> I rave. Every day. As someone who's ever been to a rave, I can say with confidence that I think raving is about being fully uninhibited at all times. Yes. And that's just the way to live. Because otherwise it's like, like why? Why? Welcome to Pictures Clubhouse Episode 2, Guario X Rodriguez. Oh, that, damn, <laughs> this is the beginning for the first time. Yeah, because there wasn't anything like like special that I wanted to go see last night, so I was like, damn it, I wanted them to like see my whole night out. <laughs> when I moved to New York, like the first rave that I went to New York was kind of accidental. I didn't know how New York did raves. Like I went to this like DIY spot, um, the legendary Taffy. Uh, and I didn't know that they went till 12. So like I kind of got there early and then it was like 4 a.m. and I was like, okay, are they gonna close soon? Then it was five. I was like, I guess I'll like, continue drinking. Then it was all of a sudden eight. I was like, Jesus, the sun is out. The sun is really out. Ain't no one stopping. There's more people coming in. Like, what is going on? What the hell is wrong with y'all? And. I remember leaving at like 9 a.m. But <laughs> I was like, yo, y'all go crazy over here. <laughs> but that was normal. Um, all that DJ stuff was accidental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I was like hanging out with my friends at my crib, I would like play on YouTube, you know, just like always play track for track. And then after a while, um, my friends at Mood Ring jokingly was like, you should YouTube DJ at, at one of our parties. And I was like, that's a dumb idea, but whatever, I'll do it. <laughs> and then like everyone loved it. And so then my friends, uh, Bowen and Vanessa were like, you should actually DJ. We'll give you CDJs. It's either like by the date that I downloaded everything, or it's like hard techno vocals, hard techno <laughs> no vocals, dirty ass tracks, <laughs> bouncy techno. Like, all right, let's play some like hard techno vocals. Let's, let's find a good one. Let's see. Oh, this is super hard. This guy goes crazy. Like, uh, I've been trying to like practice. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start the night like this. I wouldn't be like, ah. Uh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I also, I also like, if I'm like DJing, I'm just like, mm. all right, let's let's get horny real quick, <laughs> and then I'll like. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, gone to the storm, like ready to like, basically just like not be on anyone's schedule. Cause to me, that's like what's beautiful about the whole idea of going out at six a.m. is like, there's certain expectations that like at six a.m. you're sleeping or like you're yeah. it's Sunday, so like you're going to church or you're doing da 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 or you're working. 
but the idea of being like, you know what, it's 6 a.m. and actually I'm just going to go to a rave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My night is starting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, when, when I go, when I go to the, the, the 6 a.m. shift, like, I see so many people pulling up from either another party or waking up out of bed. Like, you can kind of tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. It's like, yeah, I slept. And it's like, yeah, I'm on drugs. <laughs> and, but, like, it is kind of, like, a very particular feeling to kind of be like, oh, this... I'm here specifically for music. And mm. jokingly, we would call it church, you know? Like, it's like, yeah, people are, people are waking up to want, like, a spiritual connection anyways. Like, mm -hmm. it... I don't know how people grew up and like what their relationship to religion, but what I remember about like um, how I grew up with my family going to the church is like they were there to like really feel connected to a community, to a connection, and so there's n there's no difference than going to a rave at six a.m. Honestly, I think what kind of like got me, um, I would say like addicted to like music and dancing was uh, the fact that when I would get lost in the music, I would think of ideas for my projects. Mm. And so a lot of, a lot of my projects, uh, some of the ideas came, came out of like me dancing in a corner and hearing like the music blasted. I remember one time I was like in the corner, I was like, I have to go back to the Dominican Republic and I have to make X, Y, and Z type of images. And I remember the week after I booked the flight right away and I was like, I'm going because I had an epiphany in the middle of the dance floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do print my own stuff. Um, oops, I suppose the paper. <laughs> no, no, no. I do print my own stuff and uh, this is, this is like a newer project that um, I'm releasing a book hopefully in the next couple of months. But um, it's, it's of all these ravers that go to um, this upstate rave called Sustain Release. And I photographed all these portraits and in the dark room, I like uh, created a technique to kind of um, create this kind of aura around every person I photographed. I like made kind of like a dummy, um, a dummy of like what what kind of like prints will happen. And so this is like gonna be the cover, and it's gonna be like all the images back to back. And then uh, when when you get to kind of like the center fold, you could take off like the rubber band or something and this will be kind of like a poster and it would have like writing about the rave itself and then there'll be like a secret a secret poster for each pullout and it's to kind of reveal what this rave is all about and I kind of like wanted to show like what kind of things like show at the rave mm -hmm. and this kind of like duality of like the participants um, and what actually happens. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's been kind of like, uh, this is kind of like the prototype. And I want it to be big. Yeah, I want yeah. people to, to be able to like, um, uh, deconstruct the book and just hang up kind of the, these vibes. Like I want that to happen. Degrees. It's 10 degrees. There's a moon out. It's November 1st, 2023. It's November 1st, 2023. It's probably like 4 degrees Celsius. Oh my god!
Where is salvation to be found in the spiritual wasteland of modern existence? In the abscess created from the nine to five? In the social penury of our digital era? In the self-imposed alienation from which we struggle to break loose? It's only in internal freedom where we can find refuge, not in service to the boss from nine to five, but to Bossa Nova from five to nine. We met Guario at the club, flummoxed and foxed by reality as we knew it, and we left feeling revived. We spread our wings and we felt ready to freeball life. <laughs>